Okay, so our next graph is uh, an ogive, which is a graph of a cumulative uh, frequency distribution plotting the upper class boundaries along the x-axis and uh, the cumulative frequencies along the y-axis. Okay, now uh, the lower end of the graph is connected to the x-axis. That's why we're going to add another interval. The interval that we use there is actually the lower class boundary of the first class interval. Okay, and um, if you notice, um, along the x-axis, again, I made use of this uh, symbol or a squiggle to indicate that uh, there are, we are skipping some values. Okay, we're in, we proceeded immediately with 11.5, then proceed with 15.5. Uh, by interval of four units so um uh, here uh, along the y-axis i also made use of an interval of four wherein i started off with um um here where the two axes would meet that would be uh, our origin or you can indicate zero there then we proceed with four eight twelve so on and so forth up until uh, the last possible value which will include our uh, the total frequency of our data which is uh, 30. okay now, so how do we plot um, for an ogive? Okay, so we are going to consider the cumulative frequency of each upper class boundaries. So for the first, or for the add interval, the corresponding cumulative frequency there would be equal to zero. So we're going to plot it with uh, zero. And uh, with the upper class boundary of 15.5, the corresponding cumulative frequency is eight. So we are going to uh, come up with this point, okay? So here, this is 15.5 along the x-axis and along the y-axis that should correspond to the cumulative frequency, which is 8. So just come up with a, um, an approximation or an estimation of that. And um, the next upper class boundary is 19.5. Uh, the corresponding cumulative frequency is 16. So we are going to locate that. Okay, it will be uh, somewhere here. Okay, technically, it is where the two of them would uh, intersect. Okay, so you can uh, do that um, or you can uh, use your imagination to uh, be able to come up with the intersection of uh, the values coming from the x and the y axis and then come up with a uh, an estimation uh, of its location. Okay, now let's proceed. When the upper class boundary is 23.5, the cumulative frequency is uh, 23. So 23 is uh, somewhere here and let me have uh, this point. Okay. And uh, at 27.5, the cumulative frequency is 26. So 26 is halfway between 24 and uh, 28. So let me have this point. Okay. And at 31.5, the cumulative frequency is 29. So 29 is somewhere here. And at 35.5, the cumulative frequency is 30. That is uh, halfway between 28 and 32. And 30 also corresponds to the total number of data values uh, that we have in our uh, distribution. And we will need to connect uh, these points okay, with a line. So this is how we construct an uh, ogive. Okay, so I hope uh, this is uh, clear.